you thought about it, you're like, eh, never mind. Even considering it, thank you. You at least remembered. Yeah, that's, you at least remember a little bit just for us. <laughs> All right, so. <laughs> I love that twerk retreat shirt. <laughs> no. I want to burn it off of them. <laughs> it, it sums up It sums up CFL on a nutshell. Just memes. Ah, just memes. It's so terrible. <laughs> it's actually terrible. <laughs> the bad taste shines through, man. <laughs> oh, my God. Anyway, we got some people looking fabulous, so it's all good. <laughs> all right. Um, I thought it was a I kind of blanked out. Second. Okay, so we're getting Yoshi versus Kuro. So I mean, uh, Bayonetta. So these guys have to have played in bracket before. Can you remember any of their sets? I actually can't remember their sets. Not enough to think about it. It's like so. One thing for sure, you know, the main joke is that Pulp press buttons. Yeah, he does. Non-stop. Super aggressive. So, Kuro, as we were noticing, super, super happy with which time. Yeah, he is. Will this affect? Oh, will it? Well, because he has to find a way to calm himself down. He's working out so far. So far, he's decided to press buttons in between each one. <laughs> so, at least his timing is good. Well, because he's very liable to get caught by a witch time. Let's get someone like Kuro who loves his going for them a lot. Oh my god! That shouldn't have happened like that. He had the auto angle on the witch twist it looks like and then ended up with the upper. But gets the big sin and wraps it up. Okay. All the right. Pulse even though that, that, that huge lead he had lost yeah. it but then evened it back up. I'm gonna guess he SDI'd it up because if he SDI'd it down I don't think he should have been carried up like that. Okay. Alright. So he's starting to get carried right now. Go for the escort. escort. Oh not Almost. Kill. He'll make it back though. Has a, still has his jump. Ooh, okay. That DI right there. It's times like this, I really wish Postal Guns still played Luigi. But he dropped Luigi uh, for, for this matchup? Yeah. So. Uh oh. So smash? Oh, uh, okay. jump out of it a little bit, so. So, how does it. Wait, so Luigi is good in this matchup? I thought it was still rough for him. I'd assume he did just about as well as Mario does. For the most part. I mean, I feel like the biggest thing is just catching Bale. You know, he's going to be sliding around a lot. Not too fast on the ground. I mean, he does have the fireball, but I don't know how she deals with it. Back here. Oh, oh, the up air. The egg almost does it. Ooh, wow, that <laughs> that might actually wrap it killed, up. Yeah. Postal Guns has to watch these hits, though. I know he wants to get. I know he wants to kill bad, but he got. He has to watch it. I'm. I'm thinking we're gonna probably see Kuro try to witch the eggs at some point. Yeah. I need to see Postal do a jab to up smash. Oh, there it yep, is. Yep, there we go. Come to this prophecy. Right as soon as it can. Because I think anything else would take too long and might get wish time. So I need to see Jab that imagination there. Anything else would have been too risky. Simple. Keep it simple. Yep. And it's still, still a best of five set. I uh, just went lose the semi, so. So yeah, no, definitely got time. Go back and tune each other. Um, surprisingly, only one wish time hit. Only, yeah. Just only one. For a Pulse match, it's very surprising. Yeah. So. Definitely good stuff to him for avoiding all these uh, watch time. So going back to Smashville, I'm gonna guess this will probably be a Smashville only set unless Bolt really wants to go to a different stage. Yeah, these two like Smashville a lot, so probably just, they'll both stay here. And right, we also got KK Slider out, so yeah, why not? It's, it's kind of hard not to want to, really right? Well. Especially if we hear KK cruising. Oh my goodness. Best song of the game. Oh, great late up air to up air again by Pulse Gus. Another Ooh, great string. God, that string is tight. Okay. Good egg right there to actually stuff out the afterburner kick. Definitely something you don't see all too often. That's true. Most people don't even combat the afterburner kick. They're like, yeah, you can do whatever you want. I'm just going to leave you alone. Yes. Pulse Gus say, I have eggs. I'll deal with it. Oh! oh the self value you there gets the eggs to up that air. That should be it, yeah. Back air. Wow. You always forget how strong back air is on your sheet. That's true. Ridiculously strong in this game. My already at 32%. We just got here already in that high percentage. Three moves. It's all it took. <laughs> we're, at, we're at a minute into this game. Kuro's already lost his first stock at 32%. Good okay. catch though on the side B. Ooh. Okay, I really appreciate the fair that he went for there because it's like. Oh no! Oh, also no. goes with another unfortunate stock loss. Had the first one when he SDI'd up out of the wish twist. Yeah. And the suicide that time. Could that cost him again? Okay, so armor's out of there, but. I think he landed, he should have his jump still. Okay, gets the big sit, but not too much off of it. Up there? Oh, down there. Ooh, okay. That damage. I like that option coverage. Oh my goodness. Scary stuff. 
Oh, okay. Oh, another oh, wow. one. Another call out there. So I'm just going to do it again. It'll work, right? Did that just catch the witch twist? I think, I think it did go through the witch twist, I think. Yeah. It's called a big sit for a reason. Wow. <laughs> wow. So your out of shield punish option can get punished by my out of shield option. That's actually kind of cool. That, L -O -L that's Yoshi. actually really cool. L O L Yoshi. Yo, Poltergeist laying out the Yoshi meta for this matchup. Yeah, he is giving Skrull the hands right now. A quick 2 0 so far. Yeah. Honestly, this wasn't the match I was really expecting to get, but Poltergeist is an absolutely relentless pressure right now. Just working out perfectly for him. Oh, that, oh my shield pressure. Yeah. It's like, good thing is, your shield's not going to really break, but definitely will shield probably. Yep. Ooh, oh, wasted all that time. It's a command grab. Oh, what's well, waiting out this time damage. for once? I usually very aggressive, but actually waiting out the witch times. I guess maybe Kuro's uh, heavy use of witch time is more powerful than Poltergeist's heavy use of buttons. Yeah, no, I think because like, the thing is, you know, although he's a very button happy person, he is a smart player. Like, he he will recognize your habits and will think about punishing them. It's just that if he can press buttons, that's going to be his first go-to. Yeah. Oh my goodness! Oh, Had wow. a drop show there. It would would have been a show break. So. Could have just rolled out of the way and charged up an up smash. Oh my goodness, uh, yet again! Okay, still leave it. Good DI. We need a counter for down Bs. Oh, okay. F3. <laughs> I was about to say, if he does another down B right there. <laughs> he might He might have. He, he, he thought about it. <laughs> oh, oh, the late solid up there. Up there. And Puff goes one stock away. What a quick set so far. He's putting it down on um, Kokogami. That's a cute a leg drop. But so I wonder if we're gonna get the same classic that we've been getting this entire set, where there's gonna be another super unfortunate death of Culture Dust. Yeah, he's had a, a, a slew of those. Oh there my go. god, that, was, <laughs> that wasn't unfortunate, but man, was it fancy! Both <laughs> uh, those first stocks have been pretty impressively bad. Yeah, just, just they, they they just go out it's just every single time, but. Oh. Definitely looking for Poltergeist to bring it back. You know, a lot of good confirms. That Nair, not going to really work out. Have to fade back with that. Yeah, good combo there by Kuro. But that shield pressure. Oh. Smart there by Polta to rear back afterwards. Yeah, recognizing yeah. he won't be able to break the shield or poke it. Yeah, Poltergeist definitely got to make sure, be careful about how he chooses positions now. I tried to spot dodge that uh, slide, but a little God, too meaty. that SDI up is actually looking so scary for him off those up -tees. Soon, I, I definitely think it's just going to yeah, when it when it works against you, oh my goodness! Okay, I'm not good enough. on down that time. Yep. When your great SDI works against you. Now, Kuro better watch it because I think. Oh. Nope. Okay. Flipping. Yoshi still being quite thick. Oh, oh no! No, no he ability, though. His ability. He's good. Oh, the raw four smash read on the I roll. I really, really like that thing. That was, that was smart. That was smart. Smart stuff. That's using your head. No, definitely. Because it's like, you go there, for some odd reason, instead of instinctually pressing, like, jump or attack. Well, attack, no, okay, yeah, just, just jump. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody always hits roll, no matter what. It's just, you are conditioned to roll whatever you see. You sense a ledge jump, it's always roll. It's almost never jump. So, if you go for the roll read, I would say, like, 85% uh, of the time, you're going to get them. All right, that goes down. So about seven seconds, I believe, until dog comes up. I don't know. And I'm gonna use it towards advantage. Oh wow, another late up air. He's getting so many of those. And a late up air is actually a very good tool for Yoshi. So like, not only does it, is it a move that can kill at later percents, but it also sets up for combos as well. Yep. I'll Ooh, try to use the egg to, to beat out the grab attempt, but a little too late in the egg. And Kuro, he's doing a good job of using the grab armor. Okay, pull to this right now. Just. Trying to space around us. Uh, oh, grind, but. Okay, combo going up air, oh. wrap it up. Okay, uh. barely air dodge out of it. Also, that's just a big sit there, but. God, really? Oh, they're Landing right there. on Kuro, too. But Kuro did nothing about it. Probably didn't expect it to happen, maybe. I don't know. Had a little uh, a brain freeze there, possibly? Yeah. I mean, that, that, definitely, like, when you're playing just highly intense matches, especially if you've been playing for a while, just, you just have those moments where it's like you forget. Yeah. But, you know, that, that's definitely one thing that'll separate, like, a lot of top players from just, like, low ones. So it's like, you just don't have that happen to you nearly as often. But, you know, there are times you will watch them, and you'll just see them fall apart. So, oh, retreats to the tree. Okay, so a little bit out of range to get the up air follow up, but good on Polter Gus for just keeping aware of that option. Well, because if he gets too antsy for the up air, then he might get uh, Witch Time and then down to the up smash and lift it off the stage, so he better watch it a little bit. 
I really like his use of the eggs, but like when he stops going for it, that's when he's just getting so much more risky. That sh oh wow. my god, is that duck spared his soul there? I th he didn't have the vertical distance for it too, I think, but could be wrong. Oh, egg to dunk! My god! Classic stuff right there. What a setup, the self alley you. Okay, good uh, recognition that you could get the grab from that distance. Both of us is here one stock away from moving on to lose his finals. The goal on the winner is we're going to play Saj. Okay, get the up B to connect. Eggs. Oh, dog, not doing him any favors at all. Just bring Oh my him goodness! Death. Yep, you're actually another unfortunate stock loss. The dog actually yeah. doomed him there. And I assume like as a kid, if that didn't happen, they wouldn't be nearly high enough for that. Yeah. He's finding his way back down, but Ben had a good start intercepting him with that afterburn kick. Up B off the top. Uh -oh. Not gonna get just yet, but now he's hit with the witch time. But uh, didn't convert that into a witch. Yeah, not, a not, not much time. punish from that. Oh my goodness. G in the tree. We're almost halfway done with the match, so if he's going for a timeout, he's got a long time to go. Oh yeah. Nah, I de I definitely at this time. That's not what I would be thinking about. And the one thing going against Krokogami, these have been pretty quick matches. So have you ever even like thought about going for a timeout? He has so long to wait because their match has been so fast. One way or the other. Yeah. Yeah, Two percent lead for Kuro. He is able to camp out, but it's not gonna be something you're gonna really want to go for. At the I was surprised we did not see a grab there or yeah. a dash attack. Up there? Oh, not enough. But yeah. you know, at this percentage, you don't really expect us to kill unless he's actually at the blast zone. I, mean, I wonder what uh what both of us banned. Actually. I know. I'm gonna guess Battlefield. Battlefield? I know. Oh my goodness! We can okay. to the back here. That's that's kind of scary. I doesn't go for I doesn't go for the, the, the duck again. I went oh, for it there. Hard, yeah. I expect Kuro could go to. I, wow! I witch like twist out of it. Option, but the good thing is Kuro had that covered with that witch twist, or just break up. <gasps> good egg. <gasps> the call out. Not, Not gonna seal it just yet. Uh, oh wow! Aww. The back here with some questionable D on that. And just enough, and Kurokagami forces the game five. And Saj in the back, not impressed, waiting for her to play the winner for the finals. He's like, I get a Yoshi or I get the Ditto again. <laughs> so, I'm amusing to both. We're going to go ahead and wrap it up. Last game of this set is going to go to. Drum roll, please. Oh, back to Duck Hunt. What? Uh, I'm surprised that both of us went back here after losing the previous game. You must really love this stage. I mean, this is the last time that CFL was playing with his rule set. But so. still, you, you, you love it that much? He might. All right. He could be one of those, like, brave defenders out there. It's like, this game's nothing about the stage. Oh, my goodness. What a combo stream by Kirkunami, though. 68% already on Polter, guys. Big damage. 82, 85. And Just keeps lagging it up constantly. Polter's really got to find his way in there. One big change this game's been. <gasps> Ooh. That would have been the big change that Pulse Gus needed. Yeah, speaking of big changes. The one big thing is that uh, Kuro Kagami has hit Pulse Gus with so many more Witch Twists off the ground into combo strings. Pulse Gus did a great job of waiting those, the earlier sets, but this particular game, he's going to hit by at least, it feels like eight of them. It hasn't been eight, yeah. but it feels like eight. No, it definitely feels like one too many for sure. I mean, at least at this percentage now, it's going to be really, really hard for her to convert anything off of Witch I thought he got the command. Yeah, I thought the command grab too. Great space in there by Kuro Kagami. I like that egg toss, but unfortunately didn't get the conversion. Now, Pokemon does have max rage, so Jap's imagination might actually kill right now. Oh my oh. god, back within spared his soul. He's, he'll live that. He'll be fine. Can he make it back, though? Oh, he had the read. Oh, the egg? Not enough? Oh, wait! Went for the raw up smash read. He tried to bait out the jump. Man. And she had the correct read. He there. had the correct read, but unfortunately the spacing was just slightly off because it was switch twist. Yep. And Kirkagami, one stock away from getting his run back against Saj and losers finals. That's it. And Pulsa Gus wants to get his chance at Saj. One, one stock left. Who's going to get it? All right, all comes down to this. 15% already on Pulsa Gus. He needs to continue that safe egg game. Like, honestly. If you watch Kuro Kagami, he's been having such a hard time just getting in on these eggs. These eggs yeah, he has. Put so much conversion power into Poltergeist. Oh my goodness. He uh, <laughs> wished through that uh, that big set yeah. that time. They like, nope, not again. Know. Oh, great narrow out of shield there. But definitely one of the biggest factors is Kuro Kagami's um, witch twists have been much better placed this time around. So. Yeah, he, 
He's hitting those uh, way more often than he was before. Yeah. Despite that, still at a deficit right now. Poltergust knows, doesn't have to go up in there at all, does not have to risk getting hit by the Witch Twist. I love this. Just sit down there and throw those eggs. Yeah, I'm thinking that Witch, I love that egg placement he had during that, during that exchange. Like where he was placing the eggs, is like, I'm, don't shoot where, he, shoot where he is, shoot where he's going to be. Yeah. Like, he, he cut him off at the pass, wherever he wanted to jump. Yeah, that's basically how you have to play this game in general. It's like, you're never you're never thinking about where they are at the moment. If you're doing that, you're already thinking about the past. Yeah. You gotta think about the future, because that's gonna be your present. Plus, I was one jab away here. Ooh. Can he land a one jab to up smash? Oh, up air? Oh, Go to point is there by Kuro. After Reddit kicks out of there, forward air? Oh, the that egg! That was an up smash. But maybe it was an high up. Maybe he didn't think that he'll come in uh, after to kick over his head. Who would see that coming? I mean, the thing is, that's just like one of Bayonetta's like, most common options to recover from the ledge, but nobody ever punishes his ledge. But oh my god, his up air range! Kuro playing with fire right now. Mm -hmm. Kuro's gotta be. Oh, Link god egg man. again. He escapes. Kuro knows he's not gonna die from these eggs, but he's eating a lot of damage. Any hit. From Yoshi, it should kill. Yeah, you, you don't want to. You don't want to make it so a nair kills you. So you definitely want to try to do the best you can to get damage while you can. Almost has max rage though. One percent away. Oh, I'd love to see four to there instead of witch twist. Oh no! Wow, what That's a it. risky play by Kuro Kagami. Damn. After Renekton's on the bush, right above Yoshi's 